Hello everyone. I hope that all is well. And I hope that uh, the studies are going fairly well. I just want us to go through the future values and the present values. Remember, we went through the calculation of symbol interest and the compound interest. So make sure that, guys, you know the difference between the compound interest and the symbol interest because those calculations and the information based on those terms will be incorporated in our future value and the present value. You must also know the difference between the future value and the present value. Remember, the present value is the amount you have today, is the amount that you have at your disposal. It is the principal amount. We invest that principal amount to generate the future value. So it means the reason why we invest now is because we need to have a certain amount of money at the future date. So the present value that you have plus the interest that you're going to generate is going to give you what? The future value. So the future value has got interest in it. Okay. But the question can either, they can ask you to calculate the present value by giving you the future value. They can also ca uh, say calculate the future value by giving you the present value. So when you read a question, make sure that you know what has been given so that you can be able to know what to calculate. Let's continue and look at the future value. The future value, as you can see here, the future value equals the present value. In brackets, R, as you can see, one plus R. Okay, so one plus R in brackets, to the power n. So this n must be an exponent. Okay. Why are we putting this n as an exponent? It's because we are dealing with the compound interest. Only if this symbol interest. So the minute you take this n and you put it inside here next to r, this formula will change to be the formula for calculating the present value when the symbol interest is given. Okay. And again, we also used a simplified a calculation of calculating the present value when we we're dealing with the symbol interest. You can still use that now. As you can see, PV stands for the deposit today or the present value or the, the principal amount. R stands for the interest rate and N stands for the number of people. So let's use this as an, uh, in an example here. Here I've got uh, a man of my caliber by the name of Sylvester. I want to know if I have got 10,000 today, how much will this 10,000 in five years? Remember, I invest here at the beginning of year one, and then I want to know how much will I have at the end of year five. So meaning I expect to generate interest each and every year for five years. So I want to know how much will be this 10,000 worth. Already I know that this 10,000 will be more in five years. Why? Because the interest will be added on 10,000 to get the future amount. Okay, let's go and substitute. Formula is very much important. As you can see, future value equals the present value in brackets, one plus R in brackets, N. So meaning we need to make sure that we know how to use the formula. We're using the future value because they were looking for the future amount. As you can see when I substitute, the present value on the information was given to, uh, as what, 10,000, 1 plus 0 0.10, this is 10% in a decimal form, to the power 5. You see, when I solve, my answer is 16,105 rand and 10. So this means this is the amount that I'm going to have in future after 5 years. So I can also calculate how much is the interest that I generate. For me to find the interest, I need to take the future value and I less the present value. So my future value is 16,105 rands and 10 cents, less the initial amount of 10,000. So I did generate an interest of 6,105 rands and 10 cents. Okay, this is how to calculate the future value under the compound interest. What about the present value? Let's see the present value formula is different from the future value. So the formula has been rearranged already. 
the present value equals the future value divided by in brackets 1 plus r to the power n okay so fv stands for the future value r stands for the interest and n stands for the number of periods. let's use an example here again i'm of my caliber here wants to have ten thousand in five years i want to know how much must i invest now for me to be able to have ten thousand in five years obviously for me to have this ten thousand in five years will be the amount that i'm going to invest plus the interest that i generate so in advance i know that the amount of the present value that i'm aiming to calculate will be less than what ten thousand because this present value is excluding what the interest let's go and look at the example uh, as you can see i'm looking for the present value i use this formula because i'm looking for the present value so the ten thousand was given to me as the future amount because they are asking me for the present value and i have to divide by one plus 0 0.10 is 10 percent in a decimal form to the power five as you can see i'm solving it the answer is 6,209 rent and 21 cents. Can you see now? So the present value is less than the future value. Why? Because the present value does not include interest. So I can also calculate the interest if I want. And the formula is the same future value less present value. I'll get my interest in the form of an amount. So the interest will be how much? 3,790 rent and 79 cents. So very much important as long as you know how to utilize your formula and please use the correct formula how will i know that i'm using the correct formula i need to understand when i'm reading the scenario did they give me the present value or the future okay now there's something called the frequency what in calculating we're calculating the interest where the interest is calculated annually what about where they say the interest is compounded semi-annually like two times a year quarterly four times a year monthly 12 times a year weekly 50, 50 times or it can be 32 uh, 52 days uh, 52 times uh, because we've got 52 uh, weeks in a year it depends here they normally give you the productive weeks or even daily can you see now so you need to know that the formula will change a bit this is how will the uh, this is how the formula will change as you can see here when you are having frequency other than annually your n will change and your r will change so you must multiply your n with your frequency and you must divide your r with frequency for example if they say semi-annually it means twice a year so my frequency here is represented by m so my m is going to be two so two times by whatever they gave me as the number of years and here the rate divided by what by two so if it is quarterly my m will be four four times n then r divided by m as you can see even on the formula here is displayed here so you must know that when you have got a frequency other than an annual frequency you need to make sure that you change your n and you change your r we always multiply n and we always divide r by m let's look at an example here Again, a man of my caliber here. I want to know how much will I have after five years if I invest 10,000 today, but I compound my interest monthly, meaning 12 times a year, at the rate of 10% for five years. Can you see? I've been given the present value. I'm looking for the future value. But I need to be careful because of my frequency has changed. I, own, I have, I receive interest 12 times a year. Okay? Now let's go and check the formula. As you can see, change the bit. Remember, I said you need to match by your n by your frequency and you divide your, your r by the frequency. So because it is uh, monthly, so my m is 12. Can you see now? Uh, so as you can see here, I say 10,000. Present value is 10,000. In brackets, 1 plus. Can you see my r is 0 0.10%, 10%, but I divide by 12. Can you see now? My n five years, I am much by what? By 12 because the frequency has changed. So if it was daily, I was supposed to have five times 365, 10% divided by what? 365. Can you see when I solve how much is my future value? My future value is 16,449 rents and 83 cents. 
I can also calculate the interest, as you can see. So my interest is 6,449 rands and 83 cents. Can you see? So the only change was the, the, the number of years of periods and the interest has changed because I had to divide by one by the frequency. Okay, so please make sure that you read the question carefully so that you can use the correct frequency. And thank you very much, guys. And I hope that uh, you understand and then all will be well. Please also go through your prescribed material to make sure that you understand better. Thank you very much, guys, for listening. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much.